Prayer is how you will secure your place with Christ. Men ought to always pray. Your view of God is tied to your sacrifice to Him. When a visitation of God we come into Zabulon, we come into Naphtali, the Bible says that the people that sat in darkness in the regions of death, unto them a great light will shine. Amen. So for us, worship is a journey. It's navigation. Just like our ancestors had to leave their places of estate in search of their inheritance, we navigate. And everyone is given a moment to orchestrate his own journey. We are in search of the king. He is the one that will pronounce over you such words that will deliver into your hands the authority that you need to prosecute destiny. We come to his feet today. Oh, your faces will be radiant in the name of Jesus Christ. We waited long. But even though he was in a hurry, he was not in a hurry with us. Even though he wanted to effect his counsel on the earth so quickly, he was not in a haste with us. He was determined to chisel every aspect of our being that was not yet in alignment until we have what it takes to participate fully in the harmony that his spirit brings to us. So today we proclaim a new season. A new men will begin to rise. New leaders on the continent of Africa. The fetters and the bounds that have kept the continent in the woods, in the swamp. They lose their authority to perpetually keep her in bondage. From the midst of us, the Lord will raise prophets that will bring direction. Amen. Things will never be the same again. Amen. This is that day where you need to rejoice that you came into this world as an African. Because the theater from whence the Lord will display the dynamics of his power and his wisdom and glory is right in this continent. And he had chosen our generation to watch the spectacle of his grace. A little one shall become a thousand. And a small one shall become a strong nation. From among the remnant of his people, he will find a, just a little group and teach them his language. And before you realize it, the whole of Africa will speak the same. We speak liberation. We speak liberty to the continent. We speak an end to the treachery that came by witchcraft, by manipulation, by sorcery. We speak liberty tonight in this rich atmosphere of the presence of God. Can somebody declare liberty in the spirit? The days of our bondage have since come to an end. So kings will rise from our midst. Men that have found the wisdom that is from above will rise from our midst. Our true calling and destiny will become a possibility at this time because our king is coming to Africa. Lord, we receive your visitation. We receive your power. We accept your ministry. Make out of us the mighty, the strong, in the name of Jesus Christ. Forget about your sorrows, your shortcomings. The story of your exploitation, the story of your oppression, the tale of the infirmity that has rattled your clan. A new day comes, the sun rises from the sky. It does damage to every covering of darkness that had held sway before this time. Jesus the King has decided to give us liberty. And the Bible says that he who the Son of Man sets free 
is free indeed that's the word that was in my spirit i just felt that i should give it expression the lord bless you in jesus mighty name.